Hey, this is Jeff and we are here with USP Pro. In this video we will look at how to customize a form. Here we have USP Pro installed and activated, so we are ready to go. We can head over to the USP Forms page. And as explained in our last video, these are the demo forms that are included by default with USP Pro. So we can either customize one of these forms or we can duplicate it and customize a copy of the form or we can create a brand new form. And we'll cover creating new forms in a future video. For now, let's just pick let's just pick one of these demo forms here and let's say we want to customize this. So the first thing we want to do, of course, is take a look and see what it looks like on the front end. Now currently we have this description and we have field, email, post URL, title, a CAPTCHA, category, content, files, and a remember me checkbox. So this is basically a replica of the form that's included with the free version of USP. So now to customize this form, let's just say we want to simplify it and remove some fields and maybe uh, change the attributes or the well, things like labels and so forth. Um, let's go in and see how we would do that. So first, instead of this description, let's change it to Welcome to the post submission page. Now, if we save changes, we can see that right here, so it's a little bit better. And now for our form, let's say that we're not collecting any files and we don't need the user's URL or email, so we delete those like that and then click Save Draft. And I just want to point out, notice that we're working in the text editor. That is recommended when working with short codes and markup. It just helps, it helps keep everything nice and clean so there are no artifacts introduced from the rich text editor. It also helps ensure that quotes such as these double quotes here are kept as straight quotes and not quirk, uh, <laughs> curly quotes. So, just a reminder, use the text editor when building your USP forms. Just to be sure, I clicked uh, Save Draft again. And now we revisit the form and we see that it's a lot cleaner. Uh, fewer fields for the user to figure out. So now we can go in and fine tune even further using attributes. And how do we do that? Well, there are two ways. We can either delete a field and then add it again. And then when we add it again, we can change the label and the placeholder, add any custom classes, limit the uh, maximum number of characters allowed, and choose whether the field should be required or optional and we want this to be required, so we click OK. And now let's take a look at what happened here. Before, we just had this part of it, and then we added these attributes. Label, placeholder, max, and required. And that is the first way to customize a USP field. So let's save our changes and head over to the form. And now we see enter your name. And notice my name is already auto-filled. And yours will be too if you are logged in to WordPress. If we were to log out, then it would just say name, which we customized. So a second way to customize a field is instead of deleting it and then using the quick tag, we would simply add the attributes directly, like so. So there's a label attribute, 
and we can add a placeholder attribute, a max attribute, and a required attribute. And we can click Save and take a look. There's our changes right there. Now, if we want to make sure about the attributes, or if we want to add maybe some additional attributes that aren't provided in the quick tag pop-ups, we can visit the documentation here. For example, here is the USP name field, which we see right here, USP name. And we see that these attributes will work with the with the short code. And so we can use custom, field set, or any of these along with USP name. And likewise with USP title, we can go in here like so, USP title, and these are the attributes that we can add to the USP title. Um, let's do one more, USP captcha, here it is placeholder, label, max. So let's go ahead and just use the same same ones. So label, we say uh, prove you are human. Placeholder, something simple like captcha. And required, definitely, because that's the point. And we can move these together like so. Click Save Changes and Review Our Human. So this is how we would go through and customize, customize each of the fields that we have in the form. And if we wanted to add a field that wasn't here, we could do that. Let's say we did want an email field, then we click Email and click Enter or type Enter Your Email. And we could add custom classes and do these other things, but we'll just keep it simple for now. So now we have customized these three, and we have added a new field, which we also customized. So we save our changes. We refresh the page, and we see that the email field is now included in the form. And notice also, like the name field, if we are logged in to WordPress, then the USP Pro says, hey, I know who you are, let me help save you some time, and it automatically populates the email field with, with your email address, just like it does with the name field. It says, hey, hello there, I know who you are, I'm going to save you some time. You are WordPress user, so let's fill in the field for you. And it does that with the email address as well. If you want to test to see what happens when you are logged out of WordPress, you'll just see this here. The plugin won't know who you are because you were logged out, and so it won't be able to automatically fill in the name and email. So that's a little tip there. And Remember, if you, if you want to test uh, while logged out, you need to publish the form because as explained in our form demo video, the previous video, if a form is in draft status as it is now, it won't be visible on the front end unless you're editing it. So if you want to test the name and the email auto population feature, then copy the URL, publish the form, log out, and then try it again. And maybe we'll do that in a future video. But uh, for now, I'll leave it as an exercise. And uh, that's pretty much it. We could go through and we could add more attributes to these other fields. We could add more fields using quick tags or we could um, use the reference here to find other attributes to add because the quick tags do not add, do not provide all of the attributes. Some of the short codes have additional attributes that you can add just customizing on your own. So that's another tip. And with that, I think we're about done. We have basically transformed our demo here into this form. And just as a reminder, in order to use the shortcode to display the form on a separate poster page, 
we need to publish the form. Right now the form is in draft status and so we can edit the form and view it on the front end but if we try to use the short code to display it on a separate poster page it will not work and let's take a quick look at that see the submit but the submit post button is automatically displayed um, whenever using the short code but the form itself is only displayed if it is published so let's go back to the form screen and we see that it's in draft so we click publish and then revisit the page and there's our form so that pretty much does it for this video on customizing USP forms. I hope you found it useful and stay tuned for more videos.